All right, so right now we're going to be uh, dissecting a pigeon, or the pigeons dissected. We're going to go over some of the parts. We've removed the sternum here and the um, pectoral muscles. Uh, but if we look here, uh, what we've done is we've opened up the bird's neck region, and we've exposed this first part, which is going to be the esophagus. The esophagus is gonna lead down to this sac-like region. So you can notice if I pull, I've opened it up, you can see that it, it's like holding stuff. This is the crop. So the crop is gonna sit here and it's gonna store things like um, rocks or some seeds, uh, and they're gonna help grind down any food that they take in and then they're gonna regurgitate for their offspring. Also, the crop is going to release milk to help feed the offspring. As you continue down, the uh, crop goes into the proventriculus, and so that's this right here. Move this over. This is the proventriculus, the area before, the pro meaning before, ventricle meaning belly, and the before belly, and this is where we're gonna do some of their mechanical digestion with uh, chemical digestion. And then this right here is the gizzard or the stomach as well. So this gizzard is going to release food uh, once it's been uh, digested into the first part of the intestines or the duodenum and it's actually lining the pancreas which is this structure right here what we've done is we've removed the liver here so this large structure right here is the liver we went ahead and removed it which gives us view of the proventriculus the gizzard and then the intestines so again, the duodenum is the first part, and then we have the pancreas, which goes into the small intestines, which is kind of, let's remove the other part of the liver here, um, which is all this other stuff right here. This is the small intestines, connected by mesentery. So that's all this tissue in between. It's highly vascular, so that it can uh, allow for food to travel, uh, or nutrients that have been absorbed in food to travel. All right, when we undo all of these intestines, we're going to get to the end. So this would be the end region right here. And these two little, like, small round structures are gonna be the colexica, and eventually the waste is gonna exit out the cloaca, which is gonna be this opening right here. So if we move this to the side, we can look further in, and we can see that this is a male because of these two large structures right here. These are the testes. And then if we look underneath those structures, We've got kind of like these round structures right here, and this round structure comes up uh, the body. So there's one, two, three, like right here, you can see these are the kidneys. Now, they don't have a sphincter, so whenever they go to defecate, um, there's nothing to hold it in, so it just happens all the time. All right, let's move up here. This right here is the trachea. The trachea divides into the bronchus, which are these two tubes. And then that's going to lead to the lung, which is this tissue right here. You can cut it open. You can kind of see that it's like a meshy network in there. And that tells you that that's the lung there with the um, uh, alveolus uh, that make it up. This structure right here is the heart. So you have your right atrium and your left atrium and your center ventricle. Uh, it is divided on the inside. And then you have the brachiocephalic um, region, which would be this part that comes off of it so that it can send it away from the body up to like the head, over to the lungs via the pulmonary um, artery uh, as well. Uh, as far as the bones go, you'll have to look at the other video.